Hey guys, this is Dak Man back with another episode of DCUO News Bites. And guys, it's Tuesday. I know we normally do these on Wednesday uh, where we would talk about a bonus week. However, uh, instead of a bonus week this week, uh, tomorrow they're going to be launching episode 44. And so that's what we're going to talk about today. So episode 44, Sins of Black Adam, will be releasing on the PC, PS4, and Xbox. Uh, they're taking the world's offline 5.30 a.m. Pacific time, October the 26th, obviously, uh, to launch this new episode. Downtime may last up to eight hours. I think you guys in the morning crew already pretty much knew that uh, and expected that, but uh, that's what's going to happen. And of course, travel to Kondak uh, and the underworld with Black Adam to negotiate with Neron for his wife's soul, uh, because what could go wrong? <laughs> Earn incredible new gear and rewards in our latest free episode. And so that's what's going to be dropping tomorrow. Uh, just expect it to be buggy and glitchy. It always is on launch day. Uh, you know, I know that I'm going to have a lot of comments pop up. Man, this is so buggy. It's, I know it's it's buggy. It's glitchy. This is DCUO. Uh, we're used to this by now. Uh, I stopped, you know, hoping for uh, clean launches years ago. Uh, so it just is what it is. Now, a kind of a thing, uh, you notice I did not mention Switch. Uh, they expect to publish episode 44 and the game update that includes the fall seasonal event. So yes, the people on the Switch don't even have the fall seasonal yet. Uh, as soon as possible next month. Unfortunately, our submission with the game update needed to be resubmitted to address a critical issue with the on-duty interface and is now delayed. So uh, that is just the process they have to go through to launch things. Uh, you guys wondering, you know, why they don't have a test server on the PlayStation. This is the reason why. Because they have to submit to these companies that, uh, you know, they've got to make these changes. And so when they submit them, you know, they can't just turn around and fix it immediately. They have to go through this process and it would take forever to get anything to launch. And so uh, here you have the reasoning there. Uh, but uh, once it's uh, ready to go, uh, they will have the fall seasonal available, uh, and they will run it for the normal amount of time. Hopefully that doesn't run them into the winter seasonal, but could do that uh, very easily. All right, let's go ahead and move over to a hot fix I want to talk about. This one dropped on the 20th, uh, obviously after I had already done uh, my last video uh, for that. But uh, here is the hot fix, episode 43, Open World Region. Fixed an issue where players in episode 43, public open world region, wasn't getting the appropriate passive rollless buffs. A little bit late now, but okay. Uh, episodes 39 and 40, elite modes. Fixed an issue where players weren't getting the appropriate passive buff while having their power level clamped in episode 39 and 40, elite modes. And so, uh, weren't getting your buffs. And the omnibus, uh, players should more consistently be granted and regranted the omnibus weekly raid. Omnibus Weekly Alert and Omnibus Weekly Solo Duo Mission, so long as they have achieved CR35+. Plus. I have not had an issue with that. You guys will have to let me know uh, if you've had that problem. And the last thing we're going to talk about, uh, I'm just going to kind of briefly cover this new artifact because, man, um, <laughs> I went to test it uh, right after they put it out uh, on the test server just a few days after, and it was so broken. And then I went back to look at it again, and it was still so broken. So many things weren't working very well. They had a lot of updates and changes they wanted to make. And apparently, eventually, they did finally do this. Uh, so uh, they have gone ahead uh, and made the updates and everything. And supposedly, <laughs> uh, this will be ready to launch uh, come tomorrow. Now, here's what I'm going to say, uh, just from my personal point of view, what little I messed with it. Uh, as far as how it works, I guess let me just go ahead and tell you the, the general synopsis of how it works. You're going to have to buy Word of Power. Uh, that is going to be, obviously, uh, from the Iconic abilities, but you've got to buy Word of Power. You're not going to use it, but you're going to buy it. Uh, and then uh, when you pick up the artifact and get it to 80, uh, that will open up the Shazam uh, for you, basically. the It basically is going through seven powers and the last power is word of power and it's been up you know up you know upscaled upgraded whatever you want to call it uh, to do pretty good damage but there are a lot of things about this artifact I don't like uh, I think there's a lot of things about this artifact that a lot of people are not going to like and I think a lot of people are going to hard pass basically the way it works uh, is once you've gotten the artifact where you can use it 
uh, you will end up getting a power and it just looks like an S and it's in your loadout bar. It costs you a thousand supercharge. You throw that in your loadout bar. When you get up to however many supercharge, a thousand, which is what you're shooting for to get the first one, you hit the power, it will activate an effect uh, based on your roll. Uh, and then the letter will change from S to H. And then on your next thousand supercharge, S H A Z A M exclamation point. The exclamation point is where you get word of power at the end. Uh, and there's a lot of little things that go through there. I don't feel like the artifact itself is viable uh, as far as playing most any role. Uh, I've seen a lot of people talk about healers might really like it. I didn't. I played with it as a healer. I don't like it. Uh, I don't like. I don't like needing to build up five thousand supercharge because let me explain that part too. Uh, the S and the H cost you a thousand supercharge. The A costs you nothing. It just is a power. And then the Z and the A uh, cost you a thousand supercharge. The M is just a power, and the exclamation point costs you a thousand supercharge. So by the end of this, this is a five thousand supercharge uh, ability. Uh, and so to get the effect of it, you need to rotate all the way through it. The problem is you're being forced into a lot of different effects you may or may not be interested in, and it does take time to go through there. And like doing my rotations and stuff like that, I, I always lost I, I always lost damage. Constantly was losing damage. Uh, because they're just this doesn't work well into any rotation or loadout. As a healer, it did pretty good heals. It did some pretty good damage. I didn't like it because I am hoping, you know, I'm waiting for that next effect to be the effect that I need. And yes, you're just punching through it, and it's, you know, 8, 9, 10 seconds punching through it. But, I mean, in that amount of time, I could have done a lot of stuff. Uh, and so, to me, I don't really like it. The animations... Uh, consistently put you up in front of enemies. Uh, they do back you off, but not near as far as, you know, back as where you were. And so there's just a lot of things about this artifact I do not like. Uh, and uh, to me, it's going to be a hard pass. I think to a lot of people, it's going to be a hard pass. There are going to be some people that are going to pick it up just because it's awesome to them. They, they want something new to play with. Uh, but I think there's going to be a lot of buyer's remorse in that. Um, I did say uh, when they announced it, when they talked about it, they talked about how complex it was. And my initial response to that was complexity uh, can lead to things being very overpowered. Uh, it also, though, which I did not mention, can lead to them being very underpowered or underwhelming. Uh, and so, you know, I, I naturally went with the it's going to be overpowered because that's what DCU is famous for is dropping something that's super overpowered. Uh, and then they have to nerf it six months later. Uh, but it looks like this one's going to come out a bit underpowered, uh, and probably the people that are going to enjoy this are going to be the the iconic role players, the Shazams uh, out there in the world, or the uh, or the ones that are wanting to play Shazam himself. Uh, and so, with that, I mean, some people are going to pick it up, but I just don't think this is going to be an artifact for the majority of the player base, other than the ones that just pick it up just because they know nothing about it or are completely curious about it. Uh, but as far as, you know, being told this is going to be the new meta and stuff like that, I don't believe it. I don't believe this is going to be a new meta unless somebody has figured out something that I haven't seen anybody else figure out and I myself couldn't figure out. So it is what it is. But uh, anyhow, with that, guys, just going ahead, kind of remind you, downtime tomorrow, eight hours, up to eight hours. Expect it to be buggy and glitchy on release. There's going to be problems. There always is. And so, uh, you know, log in, get what you can get out of it. If it gets too bad, drop off. Guess what? We've got several months to play this. We've got plenty of time to finish it. Uh, and so, you know, day one, day two, that first week is probably going to be kind of iffy. Uh, and then they'll get the fixes in uh, and we'll be able to play it on through the rest of the time frame. So with that, guys, that's all i got for you today. I appreciate you watching. I will talk to you in the next video. Guys, thanks for watching to the end of this video. And if you liked what you saw, head down, leave me a like and a comment. If you haven't subscribed already, that option should be available on the screen, along with a couple of options if you want to see any more of my content. You can also follow me on Twitter at Dak underscore Mangamer if you want to connect with me there. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will talk to you in the next video.